In tonight's Health Center, we've got a special segment for all you type A personalities out there. And for anyone who is married to, related to, works with, or knows a type A, we're hoping this is helpful for you as well. We're talking tonight about hurry sickness. It's not a diagnosable condition, but it is a behavior pattern that experts are seeing a lot of right now, especially during the pandemic. There are six signs that you've got it, hurry sickness, according to a recent Huffington Post article. So first of all, you may have hurry sickness if you treat everything like a race. You find it impossible to do just one task at a time. Number three, you get highly irritable when encountering a delay. Number four, you feel perpetually behind schedule. Five, you interrupt or you talk over people what? constantly. Rob Nelson, he's definitely got it. And finally, number six, you're obsessed with checking things off your to-do list. So if you said yes to any or all of these symptoms, don't worry, there is help. Earlier today, I spoke with Dr. John Duffy, a clinical psychologist about hurry sickness, some ways to cope and when to see a doctor. Dr. Duffy, it is so great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us on News Nation. Oh, thanks so much for having me. So hurry sickness, uh, I have it, but I didn't know I had it and it had a term until today. So define for us, uh, clinically speaking, what is hurry sickness? Yeah, I work with far too many people who suffer from this hurry sickness. These are the people who are consistently racing through their lives when objectively there is no race necessary at all. These folks always feel like they are behind and they're particularly struggling in the middle of a pandemic where there isn't much of a race to go to. So it's a lot like feeling road rage when there is no road, where you're always feeling this degree of crisis and urgency where it often doesn't exist. So I guess the concern for all of us who tend to be a little impatient or hurried, uh, is there any physical risk or harm uh, with this illness, sickness? Sure, um, it, it absolutely has some impact on the immune system. I can speak from experience that it has a profound impact on one's emotional well-being and one's um, relationships to other people because the, those of us who are very, very type A in this way, we tend to cause some damage in our relationship by pressing other people to meet us where we are emotionally and that doesn't always work very well. All right, so we need some coping mechanisms. I need some things to help me so I'm not passing this along to my three kids. Uh, give us some ways that we can cope. Yeah, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna just shift your thinking gently. Um, so ask yourself in any given situation where you feel this press to move very quickly, think very quickly, slow down and ask yourself, is this urgent? Is this a crisis? Um, and 99.9% .9 of the time, the answer to that is going to be no. And then I encourage you to slowly take down the pace just a little bit. And um, you've probably heard about some of these apps that are intended for meditation, the Calm app, for example. Download that and meditate for a few minutes every day and get, just get your body and your mind used to being calm. Take lots of breaks from this kind of thinking and over time you can slowly and gradually move away from being a hurry sickness sufferer to somebody who is thriving. So at what point should someone seek professional help? Is there a line that we cross that we may need to go talk to somebody? If you are hearing from the people close to you, um, your family, your loved ones, your bosses, that this is disrupting your functioning, or if you're just well aware of that, that it's just not helping you in your life, then absolutely do not hesitate to seek out the help of a professional um, we have techniques to help you through this in a very efficient way and, um, and get you past the suffering of it in a, uh, a quick and useful way. So I encourage that if you find that it disrupts your life in a profound way. All right, all good advice. I wish I could keep talking, but I'm in a hurry to get to my next interview, so I'm gonna have to cut you short. Uh, Dr. Duffy, this is uh, an important topic. It's impacting a lot of, a lot of us, and jokes aside, I appreciate all your insight. Thanks so much. <laughs>